it's Ray. I wanted to make <clears throat> a video update. Um, I had to get a dangler tube because they didn't have the right size for my button. And I think because of my EDS, my stoma is stretching. Um, so... If I can show it this is the tube that I have now right there this lovely dangler tube and so I'm hopefully gonna be going in next week to get my button back and Hopefully that can be done. Um, we are working on my um, medications for my bowel regimen. Um, I'm trying to see if they will increase my fluids because I notice on the days when I get one liter of fluids, my blood pressure is lower. On the days when I get two liters of fluids, which is every other day, I have more energy. Um, I think my iron levels are on the way down again because I'm more fatigued. They're usually good for a couple of weeks after my infusions, but then they start to go down again, so we have to figure something out with that. <clears throat> and I, you know, wanted to talk about doctors thinking that people with chronic illness are complicated. You know, it doesn't make you feel good when someone says that you're a complicated case or you're complex. And it's like, I didn't choose to have these conditions, you know. I I didn't, I can't change my genetics to make them, like, disappear. But, I don't know, maybe if they would say, you know, we're going to do whatever we can to help you instead of just automatically coming in and saying you're complicated or they say something and you know that's what they're thinking. I don't know. I just, I guess I just don't like being told that I'm a complicated case because then it makes me feel like a burden to the medical system. But there's nothing I can do to fix the way they think. So, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, we're getting a new PA. Mm. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And therapy is going well. And, yeah, we are starting on a new medication called Prevacid. We're going to use the Solutabs um, because those dissolve under the tongue and insurance actually covered them. So, thank goodness. And... Uh, we're still waiting to hear something on the wheelchair. Um, we went through a local company and um, I'm, I joined a email list for blind wheelchair users. So hopefully they can be of some help and give some tips and <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to get the chair because walking long distances with my knees that are like they literally bend backwards when I'm walking and my back tends to hurt after sitting for a while in a place that I can't rest my back against it because I have kyphosis, lordosis, and scoliosis all in my spine so yeah it's very uncomfortable um I'm going to try to see if I can get evaluated for cervical cranial instability because there is a part of the back of my neck that I don't really have feeling in and it's kind of uncomfortable. I mean, not kind of, it's really uncomfortable because I get a lot of pain in my neck and my sometimes my head feels too heavy for my neck to hold up. And... um yeah. 
So that's kind of my update. And if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to comment and ask. And I will see you guys later. Love to you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.